Just going to do an update on my 55 gallon. I've turned it into a community tank. We took out the Jack Dempsey out of here. So we got uh, a pair of rainbow cichlids. There's the male. He's looking pretty good. This is one of my bigger pairs. I have two pairs. Uh, we also have uh, five hatchets in here. Five hatchet fish. We have uh, four rosy barbs. Two males, two females. So we've got a regular male. Who's nice, nicely colored up. He was uh, in my outdoor aquarium all summer. Well, all three of these guys were. I just added an, uh, an extra female the other day, long finned. So there she is, long finned. There's our male rainbow cichlid. He's a shy fish, skittish sometimes. But uh, in this community tank, he's coming out a lot more. He's got some nice yellows on him. They've bred uh, already once in this tank. But I don't think the baby survived. We also have six silver tip tetras I just added today. I moved them from another tank in here. They were a little bit too aggressive in my 29, so I put them in the bigger tank with uh, these Daniels that can keep up with them. So we got like four giant Daniels that I bought a couple of months ago. They were like a dollar each. And they've like they're like ten times bigger now. So I might use them in the future as dither fish for uh, like some cichlids. Uh, what else do we got? We got a couple of uh, leopard Daniels in here. One is a long finned, one is not. And the silver tip tetras, we got three males, three females. And they're pretty cool. We got some uh, emerald cats. We have three of them. I moved them all in here. They were originally in my 38 gallon. There's our pair of rainbows. I think they're liking this tank. They were alone in the 38 before I moved them in here. So those are the stars of the tank. And after them it's the rosy barbs. And then everyone else is just schooling fish and just lots of action in this tank. So this has become one of my favorite tanks now. We just did a water change in here. So everyone's acting a little bit uh, crazy. So just wanted to show this tank off on a Saturday night. Shout out to JW Heiser. Love your channel. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers for commenting on my videos and liking them. And we also have a moss ball that uh, decided to stay floating and not sink. I hope it sinks soon. There it is, nice and furry. Oh, there it goes. Maybe it's got to get waterlogged, I guess. There it goes. So it's a good looking one. I paid that around eight dollars plus tax, so it was roughly ten bucks for that. So that's how I'm starting off my live plants with moss balls 
and we're going to go from there. So, uh, thanks for watching. 55 gallon update. We got lots of action in this tank. I'll just try to chase down the rainbow. This thing has a mind of its own, this moss ball. Some people think they're they're fish. But from what I've read, it's uh, an algae, an algae growth, which is pretty cool. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.